Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I have a very much good news for you guys. Now today I will discuss about the Ubuntu 23.04 Lunar Lobster. Yes, it is now in the final beta version so you can test it. All things are ready for now. In this video I will talk about that what are the new things and new features in the Ubuntu 23.04 version. It is a short term release that is you will get the uh, security updates and software updates up to 9 months. From this version two official flavors has been added. One is Ubuntu Cinnamon Edition and one is Edubuntu that is the Ubuntu Educational Distro. So today in this video I will talk about that how you can download the uh, Ubuntu 23.04 and also I will talk about what are the new features and new things and I will show you the live demo of the new Ubuntu 23.04. So stick to this video don't skip any part of this. This version of Ubuntu has come up with the Gnome 44. So before starting the video you have to do just one thing hit the like button subscribe the channel and hit the notification bell icon to get notified of my future videos. Okay so without wasting any time let's jump into our main topic today now let's see from where you can download this ubuntu uh, lunar lobster beta version okay for that you need to type in the address bar of the browser releases.ubuntu.com and here is the page you can see a lot of versions are there you can see that the ubuntu zenial and all that and here you can see that uh, ubuntu uh, lunar lobster so click here and uh, scroll down and here are some images you can see now if you want to directly download uh, so you can click here but the file size is 4.5 gb so it's a very large file so i will recommend to use the BitTorrent client to download and here is the torrent torrent file so you just download this torrent file and then you download through any BitTorrent client the links i will put in the description and when the final uh, release will be there then also i will put that link if you want to install it in the real hardware so make a bootable pen drive using Rafas or unit boot in or ventoy or belena each year. and if you want to try in the virtual box so also you can do that okay so let's boot the uh, live iso first and i'm booting in the uh, uefi mode uh, for the modern computers and this is the grub screen you can see grub 2.06 version so latest version of grub is there and try or install ubuntu hit enter and now ubuntu is booting Okay, so first of all you have to choose the language, English is the default and then two options you will get uh, try Ubuntu or install Ubuntu. So you can try Ubuntu uh, before installing, uh, this is the recommended thing because you just check all the hardwares and uh, switches are uh, working properly or not. This is the desktop in the full screen mode and this is the nice uh, wallpaper of the Luna Lobster and uh, here is the installer you can see that. Uh, here is the installer to install the system and it looks uh, really beautiful uh, of course uh, the ubuntu maintains its uh, uh, legacy look or you can say uh, the default look okay the side panel the left hand side uh, dock is there you can see and and this is all the applications you can you can uh, uh, click here and you can access all the applications uh, this uh, Ubuntu uh, uses the GNOME 44 version, this is the latest GNOME edition, currently in beta but uh, the final uh, release will be soon. Now this Ubuntu release comes with a new, brand new installer and that is uh, written in the uh, Google's Flutter UI. So I, I will show you guys but the only drawback is that it doesn't support the ZFS uh, file system. So if you want to install in the ZFS file system so you need the legacy installer and Ubuntu provides you the legacy ISO for that. So for, for now I am just double clicking the installer and preparing Ubuntu. Okay so choose, uh, the, your, choose your language so click next and then choose your keyboard U US English is default. And now uh, the network connection. So suppose I don't want to connect to the internet now. Next. And now uh, normal installation, minimal installation. So I need normal installation. And also uh, I need uh, install the third party software for the for the graphics, for the video playing and for the Wi-Fi hardwares. And, uh, and download and install support for additional media formats. So some proprietary uh, drivers you can you can also install from here and click next 
and now if uh, you want to install only the ubuntu in a whole uh, computer so you can do just this erase uh, disk and install ubuntu and but if you have some other operating system already so uh, go for manual partitioning and i'm showing you guys how to create partitions manually so this is the free space 42 gb so uh, i have to create three new partitions so click plus icon so the first partition suppose 37000 that is almost 37 gb and it will be the ext4 file system you can also use the xfs and btrfs but ext4 is the default one and the mount point will be root and click ok and you can see uh, automatically it uh, creates a new partition fat32 uh, file type of uh, and mount point boot efi so this is the esp partition uh, you must need an esp partition to boot in the uefi firmware and i have also free space of 4 gb so i can give it to the uh, linux swap so swap area i'm just giving so all these partitions we need uh, to install in the uefi uh, system uh, and for the legacy bios that is the for the older computers you only need two partition one is the root partition and second is the swap partition okay then click next and you can see uh, all things the, the, this is the summary and just click install and uh, you can see uh, this is the uh, time zone and and your uh, local area so i'm in india so this is right click next and now i have to uh, give my name and uh, my name and this is my computer's name automatically uh, <laughs> this is given and this is the username and i have to choose password so i'm giving uh, a password okay so require my password to log in okay you can also uh, check use active directory but for now uh, okay click next and now uh, you can always uh, choose a light or dar dark theme later also next and now uh, installation has started you can see copying files are going on and uh, and 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 these things are uh, some information you can see while installing and also uh, in the terminal you can see uh, what is going on in the installation so that's also you can do so uh, sometimes uh, uh, some time will be needed uh, to completely install the system so wait for that after installing the system uh, you will notice that the default uh, x server is the wayland okay but uh, i'm using uh, x11 uh, for my recording purpose and uh, you can see this is the lunar lobster uh, um, uh, information and you can see that this is the in beta phase and gnome version it is using 44 and windowing system x11 and the latest kernel it is using 6.2 okay so first of all i'm talking about the good things uh, of this uh, version okay uh, the ui is really great uh, and it looks good okay all all the things are very much polished and very smooth experience uh, i'm getting okay uh, wi-fi you can connect from here right and also some bluetooth settings are there you can see uh, you will uh, see the list of all your paired devices from here and that's amazing thing and also uh, now uh, ubuntu uh, this version of ubuntu actually uses the gnome 44 uh, this is not the default gnome okay default gnome i think is better yes and i already made the video about the gnome 44 you must check that because all things about the gnome 44 all the latest feature i have mentioned in detail so watch that video and here uh, you can see that uh, ubuntu uses the app indicators you can see that i'm recording my de desktop and that, that's a good thing and also the theming is really good and also some wallpapers they have created uh, very nice and uh, i can show you guys uh, you can see uh, very much uh, good wallpapers and also a uh, light and dark theme uh, you can change in seconds besides the gnome 44 uh, this ubuntu version uh, come up with uh, a good thing and uh, but it is not perfect uh, suppose i am using telegram okay telegram is a snap app here and you can see i have opened the telegram and uh, app indicator is here so you can uh, open telegram and if i minimize it to the dock 
and here you can see the unread messages so number of unread messages you can see here and also if uh, suppose uh, i am uh, playing a music with the rhythm box so suppose i'm playing a music you can see and here also if i if i minimize here so uh, you can see the number of unread notifications here so notification appears here so if you read it so it will be gone and you can see this is the lunar lobster wallpaper and that's uh, really looks nice and also this wallpaper i like very much because it gives me uh, a feel like mac os x and also some other wallpapers you can check and now uh, i'm talking about uh, the bad things of the of this release okay because a lot of bugs are there and a lot of bad things are there okay so one 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 i'm i'm talking about that the first one is the installer crash yes the installer crashes from the beginning okay uh, before the installation it it is a snap package and it is using the it is written in google's flutter so installer crashes much okay the second one is the software loading time okay you uh, you know that firefox is a snap package and also some major packages are snap packages i don't know why it is uh, they are pushing the snaps because uh, software load time is uh, yes larger and also if i open the ubuntu software centers and this is also very much buggy okay and the loading time of all the screenshots and all that are taking too much time okay for the first if you use the use the first time so it is very much buggy and also a very bad thing about the snap is that it consumes too much data uh, to download all the things yes i know that uh, all the dependencies uh, will be installed but uh, it's not uh, great okay because uh, if you want to use as a daily driver so you need to install many softwares okay and so the the amount of the data will be huge and and to update all the apps you you must have a huge amount of data okay but those who have a limited uh, amount of data in daily basis so they they can't uh, use as the daily driver okay so so that will decrease the popularity of ubuntu very much and now you can see this is the vlc and this is the snap this is the snap package right and you can see uh, the size is 336.mb uh, okay and the version number you can see but uh, when you uh, go for the native package uh, native package and you can see the download size is absent i don't know why it is so okay because uh, i think you you can't compare the size of the uh, dev package and the snap package because dev package has much smaller size okay i don't know why it is so so this is this is a problem and also to install a software install a native package also a much of time uh, it is getting okay so that's very much irritating for me okay and so so all these so snaps are really horrible uh, for me and i don't like the snaps i don't know why ubuntu uh, is doing so and the number 4 is the uh, touchpad setting animations are absent here I'm, i can show you guys and this is the setting you can see and uh, here is the mouse and touchpad settings and here in the default gnome uh, if you if you look at the video uh, of my previous video about gnome 44 a uh, very much nice animations were there was there uh, here okay but you can see these are blank boxes okay nothing is here so so that's a bug i think so and it should be fixed in the final release and uh, uh, number 5 is that uh, uh, search results are not uh, coming uh, many times okay uh, uh, th these are the uh, packages and when i'm searching uh, something but sometimes it is not giving me the search results i don't know uh, the os freezes uh, somewhat i think so and uh, os uh, very much freezes uh, 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 time to time okay uh, suppose i'm doing uh, several things and uh, os freezes okay so that's that's a really a buggy thing and and the ubuntu software center uh, crashes much and also uh, sometimes the files are not opening okay uh, no window is opening okay i i can uh, i can see the windows uh, when i am in the virtual desktop but when i am clicking there the window is not opening uh, dock is uh, not working properly somewhat uh, and sometimes this dock is not working properly uh, that is also a bug and uh, uh, direct power off uh, i can see here uh, if you uh, click the uh, power off 
so directly it is uh, powering off without any uh, without any alert or and that's the thing and uh, also uh, background data consumption and this is very much irritating auto updating nature of the snaps it's it's uh, irritating and uh, i i don't want to uh, uh, waste my data right in the daily basis i want to uh, update my system uh, uh, once in a week but uh, but i can do okay because snaps are auto updating and also some uh, settings you have to do or some you have to install some things uh, to uh, to enhance your usage the gnome tweak tool is not installed by default so uh, for change to change any themes and cursor themes or uh, the the gtk themes live with a theme uh, you must need uh, to install the ubuntu tweaks and also extensions app are not installed so to you can't manage the extension without uh, that app so you must install the extension app and also to play the media files like mp4 files or mp3 files you need to download the codecs from the software center so three basic things you have to uh, install so if you like this video then hit the like button and also subscribe my channel hit the notification bell icon also you can join me and uh, thanks everyone for watching my video and see you in our next video very soon till then take care and goodbye